Hi, I'm John from John Tittman Racing Service. Um, I'm here with Rob Turton. Rob is the official tyre supporter for the KDM Rally, a wealth of knowledge of fitting tyres. There's no one knows more about that than Rob himself. We uh, have currently here uh, some new Motos tubes, which are 4mm uh, Uber Ultra Heavy, um, available in many, many sizes. We have two new ones available in 150 and 170 18. Uh, with a straight stem and an offset stem suitable for Africa Twins, KDM Adventure Bikes and also BMW F800s. G'day Rob, good, good to have you here today. Thanks John, nice yeah. to be here mate. Yeah. Something new for the market? It's something new for the market and uh, we want your advice on fitting and uh, assembly of these tyres and we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> we should be able to pull that off for you mate, we've fitted a couple of the prototypes and we've had quite good success with them. So, um, I'm your, I'm your apprentice, right? <laughs> oh, but between us, we've got too many years of knowledge. <laughs> okay, we have here one of the prototype tubes that we fitted at the KDM Rally earlier this year, and it's probably done a couple of thousand kilometres, but as you can see, the offset is quite considerable, so it fits into the hole where the uh, tyre sensor used to be, and it doesn't distort the tube or cause a weak spot. This one's done a couple of thousand k's, and we pull it out of the tyre, and absolutely brilliant. It's got no creases in it, it's done the job absolutely perfectly. Okay, John, we'll take the, the new tube out of the box. The main thing, the main thing with the adventure tyres is over the years we've learnt that lots of powder, too, too much is, is not a problem. It's one of those cases where uh, more, more doesn't create a problem. The more powder you can get into your adventure tyre to stop it slipping around and getting flat pinches certainly helps. On most tubes, if you fit a new tube, please tighten up the nut on the end. Powdering the tube and tyre is quite important. Powder your tube and also powder the inside of the tyre. Right, ready to go now. Okay. We're going to put this tyre back on. We've just taken a standard tube out of this tyre. We're going to replace it with a heavy duty tube. One of the, one of the things that happens when you're putting heavy duty tubes in is generally as you're putting a heavy duty tube in and with a, a full circumference heavy duty tube like we have here, the, as you fit the tube in, it may look a little bit as if it's too big, but you have to remember the tube will expand and bed into where it has to go. A graphic example of that would be if we would put this tube into the tyre place and pump it up. Quite often it appears where it's creased. You'll see creases appear in what sometimes one or two places. That is not something to fear a great deal because what happens as the tyre inflates on the wheel and it's a fully enclosed circumference, the tube will move out. This is the reason we use powder inside the tyres, so that there's no friction, so that the tyre can slip over itself. So as the pressure increases, the tube will expand 360 degrees in every direction and that crease will disappear. That's not something to worry about. On the trail, it looks bad, but with enough powder in there, you'll solve that problem. It's what we call a full volume tube. So it takes the full volume of the inside of the tyre, once pumped up, fitted correctly. The thing to remember when you're fitting a heavy duty tube is the tube does not have to hold 4 or 5 psi, it really just has to have enough air in it to basically save you from pinching it. So 1 to 2 psi is generally enough. If I can get the valve out of here. So if you let the tube down until you just have the basic shape being formed you'll find that's enough air to work with as you're doing the job. Okay, I'll now go and put this tyre on, onto the rim for you. Now again, make sure you've got the powder distributed evenly inside the tyre. The most important thing is to make sure we've got the direction right so we don't have to do it twice.
Okay, align your room hole into an easy working position. Align the angle for the valve stem so it's on the same angle as your valve stem hole. Once you've located that, not much different to fitting a normal tyre. Inside, you will notice that there is still some creases visible that scares some people but again it's not a the right amount of powder inside the tire will spread out your tyre around past the point of the valve and then bring it back again to stop getting any creases in the tube. Make sure the valve stem is free to float backwards and forwards. That's a sign that you haven't got anything caught inside. Now the biggest tip that we can give you here from John Tipman Racing, if you're going to remove your tyre sensor, find yourself a large nylon washer cover the hole up which stops any debris or sand or grit getting back inside your wheel after you remove the valve sensor. Okay, now we have a tube in the tyre with an offset valve stem poking out the side working just the way it should. All that's left now is for us to pump the tyre up. Run a decent valve cap. Now you can see that the valve stem is poking out on the angle where your sensor used to be at perfectly the right angle so there should be no problem at all, no more flat tyres and happy motoring. All that's left now is to balance it. So that's my job. You've had more years experience than me John, it's right, all yours. Right. We're going to balance this wheel for Rob so he can take it home and put it on his bike. You usually find the heaviest part of a tyre will either be the valve stem, security bolt for example, or the tyre sensor. In this case if we just slow this down a bit, just to get a bit of an idea where the heaviest spot is. And we're going to put the, valve, the wire wheel weights exactly opposite. So if we have a bit of a go here, a bit of a dry run, Let's see where we go with these weights. I'm going to have a punt here and put a couple on because I'm sure it's going to need more than one. And that's nearly spot on. Now we can, I just do it in four quarters normally because we haven't got a road race bike where we're doing 150 mile an hour. We're probably doing 120 or 30 kilometres an hour perhaps on the, the road or fire trails. See how that's stopping in any position. So just double check the weights for tightness. Bear in mind, hopefully you've watched me put that never seize on the thread. That's really critical because they're a round ball. You don't want to be grabbing them with multi-grips a thousand kilometers time or five thousand time to get them off. But it's absolutely crucial that you do this for any any motorcycle, be that road, off-road, enduro, anything, motocross. I can't emphasise enough where it's, it's there's so much importance we put on it. Alright mate, well I'm out of here, I'm going riding it. Go on, ride you it. keep working. Okay. See ya. Bye -bye.